Hey guys, I'm LB, and we're gonna check out something random, but I have a feeling it has balls. It's called Rolling Ball, by Batcat. Controls, movement keys to move the ball, and portal gun keys to move the camera. Interesting. So, left and right click to move the camera? That's- that's gonna be... strange. Hey guys, I'm Batcat. Today I'll be posting another ball parkour. I still had this on my hard drive and just wanted to share it. Perhaps you'll enjoy it. Perhaps not. If you hate the vision of my textures, leave a like or dislike. It's up to you, and I'll see you in LB's playthrough. Alright, let's get to it. I've been meaning- I keep forgetting, but I've been meaning to actually start the map, and then load the description so we don't have to wait through the loading screen. But luckily, Batcat's maps don't take long to load, because he's an expert. Alright, so... Okay, so yes, yeah, so left and right click do... do that. Okay, so... The goal to just hit those targets. Ooh, whoops. Oh, and the targets stay pressed even if you mess up. That's nice. This is cool. It's like an optical war. So Batcat was telling me that he wanted to actually make his own game like this. And I didn't know if he meant in Portal or I, as an actual independent game. But either way, it would be really cool. It would probably be much easier to do- well... You could prototype it in Portal, but it would be easier to get it done in an actual game engine. That's nice that it resets the camera view all the way back, and, uh, oops. I pressed the wrong keys here. But yeah. It would be interesting, like, I asked him if it would be like Marble Madness, and he said, yeah, sorta. Or something like that. Oops. And I know that cat could make a good game designer. If I didn't keep falling off the ledge, that is. Oh, and I interrupted the, the transition back to the start. Oh well. Wow, I got back here real fast. I wonder if there's ever gonna be a checkpoint system on one of these maps. Like, for the ball, I mean. Ooh, careful. But it is cool that in this- in, uh, in Portal 2's engine, you can actually- you do this. And it, it just uses Source, but... I didn't realize that... it was this versatile, because I thought that the game was, like, specially scripted for Portal, and that Source was just, like, modified for Portal specifically. Where did I go? Oh, careful. But, uh, yeah, apparently, there is still a lot of customizability left. What? What happened to me? Did I go through the ground? I think that might have been a, uh, a bug there. Alright, let's try this again. Whoa! That- that sent me flying. I wonder if there's a way to use mouse movement. I don't- I don't see a way... I don't think I've seen anything use mouse movement, actually. It's always been arrow keys and- and left or right click, so... Maybe mouse movement is not something that you have access to in this, uh, however you're doing this. But that would be cool, it'd be kind of interesting, it'd be like the Turing test where mouse movement was able to- to move stuff. Really interesting. There we go! Oh goodness, oh goodness. Oh goodness. Oh goodness, how am I gonna get onto this thing? Oh! I didn't even have to get in it, I just had to get close enough. Cool map, Batcat! Well guys, as always, thank you for watching. If you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!